Hi everyone, and welcome to the first of a few short videos about how to use Blackboard a little bit more effectively. Um, I decided to do this after our adjunct meeting yesterday because we talked about a few things that could be really effective in terms of um, making Blackboard a little bit easier to use for students and a little bit more user friendly um, and a little bit more friendly looking when they when they use it for your class. What I think is nice is, you know, even if you're not teaching a class online, I think I learned a lot of these techniques for my online classes, but then I use them for all my classes um, because it just it just works better. So the first thing is the page banner on the home page. Um, as you can kind of see down here, <clears throat> because of some of the work I do illustrating and stuff, I have Photoshop, InDesign, and, um, and Illustrator. But Paint is a, um, a program that's on most computers as long as they're not Macs. And you can do a really simple banner in here, and that's actually where I, um, before I got the, the Photoshop suite, this is actually what I used to create my banner. So the first thing I did was I went on... Um, Google Images, and I found an image that I liked. This is a quote from Matthew Arnold. Have something to say, say it as clearly as you can. That's the only secret, right? That's sort of a, a, a nice tip for writing. So I'm going to right click and copy the image, and I'm going to go into Paint and Paste. Now you can see it comes out really large, right? So what we want to do is in the corners when you paste, um, you don't want to click off of it and use those white corners to, there we go, and I'm gonna move it. Now, this obviously came out a little wonky, so I'm gonna resize and just make it a little bit readable. There we go. So, um, that came out kind of weird with the text, so maybe I just want something that's just a picture. If I go back here and I just have instead of a quote, if I have just writing, um, let's just say I want this picture of this pen here. I'm gonna copy that image, paste it in. Take out what I had. There we go. That's actually a nice size. So I'm gonna leave that, um, you can move it, you can move it to the other side, but I'm gonna leave that where it is. And then I'm gonna resize my document. So all I have to do here is drag the white little, there we go. <laughs> you drag the um, the white uh, dots up to however you want to make it, and you can make it shorter. But basically what you want for a, for a page banner is a long rectangle like this um, because it's going to go on your home page. So if it was a big square, it's more for students to scroll through, whereas if it's a skinnier kind of rectangular shape, um, they don't have to do that. So next I'm going to add my text. So I'm going to go up here. There's no way in Paint, um, because it's such a basic program, there's no way to, um, you can't do a lot with the text, okay? So I'm actually gonna do one line at a time here. I already picked my color from up here. I want this nice red color. Um, I'm gonna change my font. I have a lot of fonts. <laughs> um, I mean, like this one, Bernard MT Condensed, I think is on most computers. And we're going to make the size, let's say 48. So I'm going to say, welcome to, on this again, use those white dots to resize. There we go. And then here, when you have the four, it means that you can move it. There we go. And then here I'm just gonna put E and G. One, two, three. College comp. Exclamation point. And then I'm gonna drag that <clears throat> with the white dots so you can see the whole thing. There we go. And I'm going to reposition it just a little bit so that it's kind of centered here. Good. Okay. So that's it. That's my banner. It only took me about three minutes. Um, and then I'm going to go save as. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. 
and I'll just save it to my desktop so that I can find it a little bit easier. And I'm going to title it Banner. One, two, three. Banner for Blackboard. My original one is called Banner for Angel because that's how, how long ago I created those. <clears throat> so I save that. Then I'm going to go into my Blackboard page. So up here at the home page, um, you can, if you click edit, it'll edit like the settings of the home page where you can rename it and stuff like that. I don't like to rename the home page because students know what a home page is, right? It's their splash or landing page for your class. So we're going to go in here into page banner and wait for my very slow internet. <laughs> Okay, so here it says home page. Now, when we delete that, it'll still show up at the top. It just means that your banner doesn't repeat the word home page. Then I'm going to go in here into insert image. And I'm going to find the image that I just created. The important thing <clears throat> when you, after you find your image, or if you want to use the one that I'm, I'm the ones that I'm going to send everybody, um, which I guess we can all have the same banner image. Now I can't find my, there it is, 123. <laughs> I'm going to open that. So the thing is that you really need to have um, an image description. The reason that you, <clears throat> the reason you want to have an image description is for anybody who has ADA accommodations, when they scroll over the image, if there's no title or image description, they don't know what that is. And <clears throat> so their computer will just read out to them um, image. So it's not ADA compliant. Um, and, and it can be, we had a demonstration where David sort of showed us what that looks like with the, with the accommodation um, software that people would use. And it's very confusing because it's just sort of reading things out to you. So in your image description, I'm just going to put here um, page banner. That's what it is, right? The description. And then in the title, I'm going to put my same um, words that I have on the image. Welcome to English 123 College Composition. And then I click insert. If you don't have that on there, also it will prompt you. <clears throat> And then that's it. I'm going to click submit. <coughs> so pretty easy to do. And in a moment here, it'll appear at the top. There we go. So now we have a nice little welcome image right above where it says home page. Um, and what I'm going to do next is customize the color, which is also pretty easy. You go up here. Um, to this little uh, color wheel thing, and it says change course theme. Now you can leave it as the default. I like to color my classes just because I think it, it's a little bit more visually interesting for them. There's different things here um, that you could do. You used to be able to edit the colors as well, but I don't think they let you do that anymore. So because I have this color here, I'm gonna go with maybe flame. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Okay. It's a little bit too red for me. <laughs> Maybe you like it. Um, and I could leave that. Some of the other ones are a little bit more subtle. The gold is a little bit more subtle. My American literature class I actually do use. There we go. Right? Not as bold. So you can kind of click around with these. The American lit class, I use the American one. Um which has like flags and stuff <laughs> on it. Um, but yeah, that's basically that's basically it. Now I've got a red, white, and blue theme going on, which would be all right. Um, the other thing that I sometimes do to customize the page a little bit, you can um, customize your homepage by uh, clicking customize to move, you can move things around, obviously. So I don't delete all the modules on the front. Um, here we go. Right, so if you want to customize it even more and pick some colors for what you want on the home page, you can. Um, or you can just kind of leave it the way that it is. Um, the other thing you can do is you can add course modules to this front page. 
if you want to. There we go. So for example, if you want to have um, the academic computing lab hours, if you're using Digication, you can add that right to your home page. Um, <clears throat> if you want, I don't use the McGraw-Hill stuff, the, the my messages and stuff are already up there. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one that I sometimes use. Sometimes I add one of the tools to my pages. So you can you can do that too and it's not, you know, it's not difficult for our purposes here. I'm going to add the computing hours. Just to kind of show you what that would look like. Okay. And then I'm going to go down here and just click okay so to save my changes. <clears throat> There we go. Now they have the announcements, the to-do, the alerts, needs attention, and then all the academic computing hours are right down there. It's kind of a nice module for them to have because a lot of them don't have the computers. Um, they don't have a computer at home, right? Or they don't have great access to internet except for on their phones. And you can reorder these. I'm going to move this up here. There we go, right under the announcements. So they have the announcements, they have what they need to do, um, their tasks and whatever, and then their, their alerts. Um, <laughs> and that's it. That's how to customize your homepage. So I hope this was helpful. The next one we're going to talk about how to customize the menu over on the left-hand side.